Hello everybody and welcome to the second part in my series on Python scripting with Krita. In this video I'm going to cover the topic of creating a plugin in Krita with Python. Now what is a plugin? Well a plugin is just a Python script that you've saved in such a way as to be able to use it within Krita repeatedly whenever you want to. If you've been playing around with Python scripting since my first video, you've probably realized that anytime you close the built-in scripter in Python, unless you've copied and saved your code uh, to elsewhere on your machine, then you will lose what you wrote into the scripter and the script that you created. So plugins are a way around that. Plugins are a way to save your Python script and then let Krita know where it's located so that you can use it over and over again. Now a good example of plugins are things that we can find here in the tool scripts menu here. All of these various scripts are Python plugins, such as the scripter itself. The Python code that runs the scripter is actually saved somewhere that Krita knows to look for a Python script. And the same is true with all of those other Python scripts that are in the tools menu. All right, to begin with here, I've got a quick little Python script that I put together. Um, it just calls the Krita.instance construction and then triggers the Python scripter action to create a new scripter window. If we go ahead and run this right now, you can see that's all it does. It creates a new window of the Python scripter. Now, if we want to save this and we want to be able to use this script over and over again in Krita, what we're going to have to do is create a plugin. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do to create a plugin is here in the Krita main window, Go to Settings, Manage Resources, and then click on the button here that says Open Resource Folder. What that will do is that will open up your file browser to the location where Krita stores its resources. Now when you click this folder, what you're going to want to be looking for is a folder called PyCrita. Now I don't have a file browser application on my PC, so when I click the Open Resources folder, it's actually going to open the directory here in my web browser. This is Firefox here. And as you can see here, the location of this is going to be in my user home directory in .local share Krita. And the directory that I'm looking for is going to be called PyCrita right here. Now this, that's where it's located for me on Gentoo Linux. If you're running Windows, it will be located somewhere else on your machine. Uh, but when you click that open resources folder, it should take you directly to a folder that contains these directories here. And the one that you're looking for is PyCrita right here. All right, now that you've found the PyCrita directory, the next thing to do is going to be to go into the PyCrita directory and create a .desktop file. Now, a .desktop file is just a file that contains information that Krita will read when it loads your plugin. It's required for all plugins, so we're going to need to make one here. Now, I'm going to create this with Vim. You can create it with whatever text editing program you have available. But I'm going to call this .desktop file scripter underscore test dot desktop. Scripter underscore test is going to be the name of the Python plugin that we're creating here, and it has to end in .desktop in order for Krita to know to look for it. So we're gonna go ahead and create that here, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it. Now the first line in every .desktop file begins with a square bracket and is called desktop entry. Capitalized, it will look exactly like that. You'll want to put this at the top of every .desktop file that you create. It's going to be necessary for Krita to be able to read this file. The next line that we're going to want to add is type equals service. Again, this is another line that every .desktop file will have. The next line will read service types equals Krita forward slash Python plugin. This line lets Krita know that this plugin should be treated as a Python plugin in the program. One thing I want to make note of, notice the capitalization in all of these lines here. That is important. It must be capitalized exactly like this or it won't be readable to Krita. Case matters uh, when programming. So as far as a program like Krita is concerned, uh, capital P and a lowercase p are not the same thing. So you will want to make sure to capitalize all of these lines and all these words exactly as I have here. The next line is going to be x hyphen kde hyphen library equals and then the name of the plugin. Now, as I said before, we named this scripter underscore test dot desktop. So our plugin's name is going to be scripter underscore test. So right here, I will put scripter underscore test. Now, I didn't capitalize it here because when I made this dot desktop file, I didn't capitalize it. Again, case is important. And so if you do not capitalize the name of your plugin, then you do not need to capitalize it here. The next line is x hyphen python hyphen 2 hyphen compatible equals 
false. Now, what we're saying here is this script that we've created is a Python 3 script only. It's not a Python 2 script. Krita by default is not compiled with support for Python 2 in its scripting. Um, there are ways to compile Krita to give it that functionality, but if you just go out and get a binary or on Windows an installer for Krita, it's not going to have Python 2 support built in for its Python scripts. So all of our Python scripts that we create here, all the ones that I'm going to create in this tutorial series, are going to be Python 3 scripts. And so every desktop entry, you will want to have this line here to let Krita know that this script is a Python 3 script only. The next line will read name equals followed by the name of your plugin. Now this is just a string here that can be anything. It will be displayed in the scripts menu as the name of your plugin rather than say the, the built-in name of your plugin library such as script or test right here. This can be anything. So we're going to say here, we're going to say my scripter test plugin. And this name will be displayed inside the Krita application rather than our scripter underscore test file name. And the last line that we're going to want to put here is comment equals followed again by a string that is just going to be a comment. This is meant to describe the plugin that you've just created again in a way that's helpful to the user. So it can say anything. So we can say this is a test plugin. And that will display as the comment for this plugin inside the Crit application. So with that done, we're actually finished with the .desktop file. So we can save that and get out of here. And the next thing that we're going to want to do for our plugin is to create a directory under the PyCrita directory here that is named after our plugin. So I'm going to do that right here from the terminal, but you can do this in a file browser if you want to. All you have to do is navigate to the PyCrita directory and create a new folder with the particular name that we need here. The name that I'm going to give it again is going to be scripter underscore test. So I'll go ahead and create that and then I'll go ahead and navigate to that directory so that we can go ahead and begin creating the actual Python files that we need. Okay I'm currently in my Python plugins directory and as you can see there's nothing in here. So I'm going to need to create a couple of files here to make this Python plugin work within Krita. The two files that I'm going to need to create are going to be called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py and scripter underscore test dot py. And now you see those two files exist. Now these two Python files are necessary in order for the scripter to function. The first file here, init dot py, is going to initialize this particular folder as an actual Python library. And I'll explain what that means in a moment when I edit the file. And this file here, scriptertest.py, is going to be the file that contains the actual code of our Python script. So it's going to be the thing that we copy this text here in the Python scripter plugin over into. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to edit the init.py file to go ahead and make this directory be treated as a Python library. Now, if you're more familiar with Python 2 than Python 3, you may remember that back in the day, you only had to create this file. The Python library would function as a library if this file existed. It didn't actually have to have anything in it. Well, that's not really the case anymore in Python 3. In Python 3, we have to do a little bit more to this file to actually make it work. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually import the plugin as a library itself. And I'll show you how to do that here. We just do from and then dot scripter underscore test import everything. Now the syntax here is very important. We can't just say from script or test import everything. It has to be the dot script or test to initialize this folder as a library for Python 3. But that's all we have to actually put in here. And then we can write the changes and get out of here and actually go ahead and edit script or test dot py. Now, as I said, all we want to put in here is the code that is already right here in the Python scripter in Krita. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it here as well. And there we have it. So our Python code has been copied over. So we don't actually need the scripter window anymore. But we're not quite done with our copy of the Python code over here yet. We're going to have to make a minor modification to it in order to get it to function properly. If we were to go ahead and save this and try to import this into Krita right now, we would have issues because we currently don't have any way to actually trigger this script to happen. We have a way to trigger the event that we want the script to trigger, but what's going to cause this script to actually run in the first place? If we just plug it into Krita as it is right now, then it'll run once on startup and actually fail because the Krita window won't even be open yet, and so it'll fail to actually run this script. So what we're going to need to do in order to make this script runnable in some fashion in Krita 
is we're going to need to make our line here that triggers the Python scripter a function. So we're just going to want to go ahead and add a line that says def to define a function, and we're going to just call it trigger my plugin, and then a colon, and then down here we can go ahead and add in a tab since white space is important in Python. And with that, our plugin is actually safe to run in Krita. So I can go ahead and write these changes and be done with it and close out of here because actually now we are ready to import the script into Krita itself. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to restart Krita because it has to be restarted in order to find the new collection of plugins that we've created. So once that's done, now we need to actually enable the plugin. The same as we had to enable the Scripter plugin in my first video if you watched that. So we'll want to go here to Settings, Configure Krita, and go down here and click this menu option, Python Plugin Manager. And if you notice right here, my Scripter Test plugin, that's the plugin that we just created. That's the name that we put in the desktop file and the description that we put in the .desktop file. So if we want to enable this, we just need to click the check mark right here and the script will be enabled. Now if this were an extension or a docker, the next thing to do would be to restart Krita, but since it's just a code-based function, we don't actually have to worry about doing that right now. We can go ahead and use this plugin. So let's go to Tools, Scripts, and actually start up the Python Scripter. And now here from within the Python Scripter, we're going to create a new instance of the Python Scripter with the script that we created with our plugin. Now the way we're going to want to do that is we're going to want to import the Scripter library that we created. If you'll recall, it was called Scripter Test. So this will import our plugin and allow us to go ahead and use it here in our code. So we can trigger the function that we created by saying Scripter Test dot and then the function name trigger my plugin. And if we go ahead and run this, you'll see that it triggers just fine. That proves that our script was loaded, that it works here in Krita, and just like that, we've created our first functioning Python plugin here in Krita. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was uh, beneficial to you. Maybe you learned a little bit about Python scripting. Um, I realize that most of the time, the plugins that you create for Python, you probably actually want to be able to trigger here through the actual GUI. And most of the time, those types of plugins are either going to be extensions or they're going to be custom dockers. And in my next two videos, we'll cover actually creating extensions and custom dockers so that you can trigger the effects of your Python script here through the GUI. But anyways, yeah, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.